All right, welcome back, everybody. It is difficult to find aspects of life that haven't been affected by the coronavirus outbreak. And it's the small dry cleaners that play a critical role to helping first responders. Some of them, though, are struggling just to make ends meet. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester has that story and what you need to know if your dry cleaner suddenly closes, Hank. This situation has obviously affected so many small businesses around Metro Detroit, including those that remain open, essential businesses like this dry cleaner here in Clawson. Absolutely bananas. I've never seen anything like this. This is horrible. It's just literally stopped us in our tracks. Like a lot of small business owners, Dimitri is struggling. His family-owned dry cleaning business, Earl's in Clawson, operating bare bones. The staff is gone, but Dimitri remains here. We went from processing several hundred pieces of cleaning a day to maybe taking in two, three pieces a day. Some dry cleaners like Earl's remaining open right now. Dimitri providing essential help to many of our first responders. Well, we do a lot of the uniforms for Kloss and Troy, Royal Oak, um, Michigan State Police, Oakland County, Wayne County Sheriff's. And even though times are tight and business is way down, Dimitri is thankful that he will likely survive this economic downturn. Fortunately, my family, we still own the building. We're just going to keep the doors open and just try to keep people coming in. I'm hoping to survive this. We, you know, ride it out. We've been here since 75. I'm not shutting my doors that easily. So, but it's scary. It's, it's really scary. Other dry cleaners may not be as lucky. And for you, the consumer, I'm sure you have questions. What if your clothing is inside a building that is now closed or locked? Here's the best advice. Best thing I can do is try to reach out to them on social media. If they have a social media page, try to inbox them, email them, call them. Most cleaners would put a phone number up there for them to call. And for more information about which businesses are open, which are closed, and the best way moving forward for all of us consumers to handle these changes that are taking place every day, we put everything you need to know on our resource page. You'll find it at clickondetroit.com. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank. Be nice if they would only change every day instead no, really? of every 45 <laughs> minutes. Local